It's the Bay Area Quiz Kids. Brought to you by the San Mateo Credit Union. And now, the best host on the West Coast, Brad Friedman. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Quiz Kids. We have two great teams. I'm going to introduce them to you right away. First of all, having scored 540 points in their previous game, we welcome back the Gun High School Titans. And we have a very special welcome for a brand new team to Quiz Kids, where they're going to score points very quickly, the Stuart Hall Knights. So without further ado, we're going to wipe the score off the gun team and introduce ourselves to the players. Let's start out with Emma Donor. Hiya, Emma. Welcome back. Thanks. I understand you've decided to study Chinese. Yeah, I've been studying it for like the past three or four years. And I just took a trip to China last summer. So, so. you've been studying for a while. How'd you do with the Chinese that you knew? Did you feel like you um, were progressing? I, I learned a lot while I was there conversation-wise. Mm -hmm. um, pretty much, I, I knew enough characters to get my way around reading and stuff. But yeah, definitely um, the trip helped a lot with the speaking and understanding part. Which is, you just got to immerse yourself in it. Well, good luck with that. Rory Runser, uh, you take part in the Science Alliance. That's right. It's this club we have at our school, which basically we take science demos and we go to local elementary schools and do them for the kids. And it's usually things that in an elementary school they wouldn't get to see, so it's to get them interested in science. To get them interested in science, they'll take science classes. And exactly. And then one of the other things we do is down at the Tech Museum in San Jose, we did a few uh, film clips of basic science principles, so I did one for Gears, and uh, I was under the impression it'd be up for maybe a month as part of a small demo, and it's been there for over a year and a half, so. Wow, you're I'm, a star at the Tech I'm Museum. I'm on my way to fame, exactly. Excellent, Rory. I'll try and teach you how to deal with that kind of fame at a clinic. <laughs> very, very challenging. <laughs> Will Strickfadden. Uh, Will, you did a, you performed a beautiful good deed recently with your family. With, uh, when you went into a, a trip to the forest. Yeah, so I was camping with my family and we came across this kitten near our campsite. And we were confused because you expect to see bears, raccoons in the forest, not cats. And someone had dumped their extra kittens because they didn't want to take care of them. But uh, we coaxed her, that the cat, to come on and into the car and we- She's a member of the family now. Drove her home. She named Shadow. She's very cute, very soft, but still very scared of plastic bags. Ah, oh, gosh. Well, it's a good deed you did. And for that, I'm going to give you a chance to earn 100 points. <laughs> Thank you. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done that for you. So uh, I have a series of 10-point questions for you. All you have to do is pick the category. And let me tell you what today's categories are. Very exciting. It's elementary. It's water under the bridge. Or it happened one year. It's elementary. It's elementary. All right. Every chemical element has a symbol. I'll give you the symbol. You name the element. Ready? O. Oxygen. Oxygen. Right. K. Potassium. Potassium. Correct. Na. Sodium. Sodium. Right. W. Tungsten. Tungsten. Correct. Se. Selenium. 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 Right. E-S. Einsteinium. 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 You got it. And finally, S-R. Strontium. Strontium. You earned 70 points. Bonus for 30. You got 100 points. Great start. We'll be right back to meet Stuart Hall. Peninsula TV is proudly brought to you in part by Nimbus Design, helping Penn TV, businesses, government, and nonprofits with their web technology and design needs. Nimbus Design combines art and technology to help businesses connect directly with customers, partners, and the public. Located in Redwood City, the heart of the Silicon Valley, they can be reached on their website at nimbusdesign.com. Nimbus Design, a proud sponsor of Peninsula TV. Welcome back. Let's say hello to the Stuart Hall team. Welcome, fellas. It's good to have you on our show. And we'll start with Will Campbell. Will, uh, you play soccer? I do. You do? I do. And you recently took a trip, a soccer trip, to Mexico, although it wasn't just to play. What did you do? Um, we also uh, helped out with the kids down there, and we did community service. Uh, it was a lot of fun because uh, it kind of opened up um, 
my experience. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, did helped. you find that when you played soccer with some of those little kids, they were much better than you? <laughs> you bet. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Devin Patel. Yes. Devin, I feel like we should credit you partly for being here. Uh, you started a quiz bowl at school. Yes. Uh, two years ago, I started the quiz bowl team with three other members. And we've tripled in size to the state. And just last year, we've placed fourth out of 11th in the Bay Area competition. Yeah, so you got on the internet and said, where can I find an opportunity to do this publicly with a winning host? And uh, you found me. You found us. Right. right. Drawn to us. It was a Saturday. You watched the show. I'm very proud of you, Devin. And you're here. Good luck to you. Brandon La, hey. you also went to Mexico, or are you going to yeah. Mexico? In about two weeks, I'm going to go down to Oaxaca to do a community service trip, and we're going to build some houses and some wells. For, uh -huh. And we're also going to visit our sister school down there. Now, how did city. you develop a sister school relationship? Well, it's part of the uh, Sacred Heart. Okay. So it's, uh, yeah, it's a Catholic organization. So Great. So you get a chance to meet and them. maybe go to some classes. Yeah. or Excellent. Good luck. Have fun with that. Thanks. You guys ready to play? Yeah. Good. All you have to do is pick. I know how excited you were to hear about It's Elementary. That's gone. Now you got to choose between It's Water Under the Bridge or It Happened One Year. Uh, it Happened One Year. It Happened One Year. All these things happen in the same year. You ready for the year? 1903. Okay. So reach back in your memories and see what you, how you do with that. The Wright brothers made aviation history at this place. Kitty Hawk? Kitty Hawk? That is right. The U.S. sponsored the revolution and independence of this Central American nation. Uh, Nicaragua? Nicaragua? Panama. This blind, deaf, mute woman wrote her autobiography. Helen Keller? Correct. His book, Call of the Wild, was published in serial form. Jack London. You got it. Morris and Rose Mitchum introduced the first of these toys in the U.S. Barbie? Yo-yos? <laughs> ah, it was the first year of the teddy bear. Oh. Cuba leased this harbor to the U.S. in perpetuity. Guantanamo Bay. Correct. And finally, Maurice Guerin became the first to win this race a century before Lance Armstrong. Tour de France. You got it for 50 points. Congratulations. <laughs> We'll be back with both teams and the second round to play in a minute. Since 1952, San Mateo Credit Union has been proud to help San Mateo County members and their families achieve their financial dreams. Our deep commitment to the community we serve includes offering a wide variety of financial education programs like financial literacy workshops for youth, adults, and seniors, seminars about raising money smart kids, identity theft prevention, and many more. For more information about San Mateo Credit Union, visit us at www.smcu.org. We'd like to take this time, as always, to thank the mighty coaches who helped the teams out. Uh, first from Gunn High School, let's give a big hand for Heather Mellows. And we welcome the coach from Stewart Hall, Shannon Hawkyard. So teams, put your hands on your buzzers. It's time to play the three for all. We'll start with the first toss-up question. We have 100 here, 50 here. Good luck to both teams. What type of musical instrument are timpani? Brendan. Percussion. Um, I need to get something more specific. specific. A drum. A drum, exactly. For 20 points, what dramatic sound effect is performed by quickly striking drums with alternating sticks? Uh, roll. A roll is right. Uh, for 40 points, what's the common name of the part of the human anatomy known as the tympanic membrane? That's the eardrum. Uh -oh. Okay, next toss-up. Although you might think they're placed on Gothic cathedrals to frighten sinners, Will. Gargoyles? Yeah. Right, for 20, in the Middle Ages, which animal became a common gargoyle form, perhaps because of its association with the deadly sin of pride? A lion. A lion? Yes, for 40, Blue Fang's Lion Pride is a top-selling game for what mobile platform? Yes, PlayStation? iPhone. Oh. Next toss-up. 
Humans have two of these, fish have one. Name these chambers of the heart named, yes, Rory? Um, uh, oh. Nope. Name these chambers of the heart named from the Latin for room. Aorta. Eight chambers. Aorta. No, it's the atrium. Okay. Of the seven wonders of the ancient world, which is the only one that survives on, Rory? Egyptian pyramids. Pyramid, uh, the Great Pyramid. The Great Pyramid is right. Which Egyptian port city was home to the ancient lighthouse known as the Pharos? Alexandria. Correct. For 40 points, the ancient Babylonians built pyramid-shaped structures. What name do we give to these structures? Tetrahedron. Tetrahedron? No, they are a ziggurat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Next. What creator of the anti-socialist laws who worked for German unification was known as the Iron Chancellor? Will. Bismarck? Yes. What U.S. state's capital is named in honor of Bismarck? North Dakota. Yeah. Yeah. North, North Dakota? Right. Bismarck isn't North Dakota's largest city. That honor goes to what city that shares its name with a Coen Brothers film? Fargo. Fargo. You got 40 points. <laughs> what is the name of the chemical process in which polymer chains of rubber molecules are exposed to sulfur and heated? Emma? Vulcanization. Correct. Which rubber company is named for the discoverer of vulcanization? Goodyear. Michelin. Michelin? Goodyear. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's always sad when you hear them mutter that word. All right. What is the name for vertebrates such as frogs, salamanders, and newts that... Rory. Amphibians. Right. If a newt loses a leg, it can regrow it. What do biologists call this process? Regeneration. Regeneration? Yes. The California Institute for Regenerative Medicine funds research involving what type of cells considered important to regeneration? Stem cells. Correct, for 40 points. <laughs> Take one artificially aged human skull and an orangutan jaw, and you can make your own version of what early 20th century hoax? Will. Piltdown Man? Yes. Uh, we also call them s'mores. Who, oh, that was a joke, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's how I make a s'more. All right, who was the amateur archaeologist who first presented Piltdown Man? Leaky? Leaky? No, it's Charles Dawson. You didn't get that because you didn't laugh at my joke. <laughs> the largest remaining Francophone region in North America is what Canadian province? Will. Quebec. Uh, for 20, the modern province of Quebec was part of what larger colony originally claimed by Jacques Cartier? New, no, no. Uh, New England? New France. Its name means Lion Mountain. Freetown is the capital of what African nation founded by the, yes, Emma? Sierra Leone. Right, for 20. As a refuge for former slaves, Sierra Leone is often confused with what neighboring African nation founded by Americans? Liberia. Right, and for 40, some of those resettled to Sierra Leone were African Americans who had fought with the British during what war? War wars? No, 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 that was a sign. The uh, American Revolution. Revolution. Sorry, we're going to see, be right back in just a minute. Peninsula TV is proudly brought to you in part by Nimbus Design, helping Penn TV, businesses, government, and nonprofits with their web technology and design needs. Nimbus Design combines art and technology to help businesses connect directly with customers, partners, and the public. Located in Redwood City, the heart of the Silicon Valley, they can be reached on their website at nimbusdesign.com. Nimbus Design, a proud sponsor of Peninsula TV. Welcome back. Here is the next toss-up. When performing transfusions, blood is classified into four lettered types. Which type is the universal donor? Rory. O negative. I uh, will accept O negative or O. What blood type is sometimes called the universal recipient? AB. Correct. And the term RH factor comes from the name of what kind Rhesus. of primate? Mon monkey. Rhesus monkey. Rhesus monkey? Yes, that's right. 40 points. Architect Henry Beacon, architect Henry Beacon designed what Washington DC presidential memorial in the form of a rectangular Greek temple? Yes, Emma. The Lincoln Memorial? Yes. For 20, from 1959 through 2008, the Lincoln Memorial appeared on what coin? Penny. Penny. 
the penny. For 40 points, in 2009, the reverse of the penny was changed again. What's on the reverse of the 2010 penny? A horse. <laughs> A horse. So close. The Union Shield. <laughs> heat is transferred in three different ways. Which mechanism of heat transfer is at work when a hot object comes into contact with a colder object? Will. Steam. Sorry? Steam. No, I'm sorry. You can steal. You can talk. Conduction? Yes. For 20, which mechanism enables the sun to heat the surface of the moon? Radiation. Radiation. Or is it like reflection? Okay. Radiation? Yes. Listen to Emma. <laughs> Which mechanism requires a gas or liquid to affect the transfer of heat? Convection. Convection. That is right for 40 points. In 1914, West Virginia high school teacher Anna Jarvis succeeded in having the third Sunday in May nationally recognized as what? Emma? Mother's Day? Yes. The first of what June holiday occurred in 1908 when Mrs. Grace Golden Clayton wanted to celebrate the lives of 210 men lost in a mining accident months earlier? Thanksgiving. Father's Day. Thanksgiving. <laughs> that, that June holiday is called Father's Day. Wait. Just Sorry. keep going. Sorry. No, I'm gonna say Completed anything. in 1972 on Benelong Point. Its structure is supposed to resemble the sails of clipper ships coming out of port. Name this cultural landmark that's become a symbol of Australia's, yes, Emma. The Sydney Opera House. Right. Tourists don gray coveralls to reach the summit of what other Sydney landmark? Oh, that mountain. Mount Uluru? No, the Harbour Bridge. <laughs> golfers, used to, uh, golfers used to call it a double eagle. But what other bird is now used to refer to Brandon? Albatross. Right. If a golfer scores an eagle with a hole in one, what's the par on that hole? Uh, three. Yes. For 40 points, what flightless bird names a five under par shot, such as a hole in one on a par six hole? A kiwi? Oh, no. <laughs> it's an ostrich. <laughs> <laughs> what mountain range runs from Morocco to Tunisia? Emma. Atlas Mountains? Yes, for 20, the entrance to the Mediterranean includes the Atlas Mountains and what rock that's a British outpost in the south of Spain? Gibraltar. Yes. <laughs> what is the mythologically inspired name for the mountains at the Strait of Gibraltar? Pillars of Hercules. Got it for 40 points. To catch the conscience of the king, which Shakespeare title character writes a play called The Mouse Trap? Emma. Hamlet? Yes, for 20. Another mousetrap play has been running continuously in London's West End since 1952. Which mystery author wrote The Mousetrap? Agatha Christie? Yes, and for 40 points, The Mousetrap, like most of Christie's plays, does not feature her famous Belgian sleuth with large mustaches and a larger ego. What is the name of this great detective? Hercule Poirot. You got it for 40 points. In 1776, what city became the capital of, of Afghanistan? Emma. Kabul? Yes, for 20, the rebuilding of Kabul has been made difficult by continued attacks with from what Islamic political group whose name in Pashto means students? The Taliban. The Taliban? Yes, and for 40, name the mullah who, though in hiding, is reported to be the leader of the Taliban. Bin Laden? Muhammad Omar. And that leads us at the end of the round with 90 for Stuart Hall. Gunn has a lead of 490 points. Good for you. We'll be right back to see if Stuart Hall can catch up. Don't go away. Since 1952, San Mateo Credit Union has been proud to help San Mateo County members and their families achieve their financial dreams. Our deep commitment to the community we serve includes offering a wide variety of financial education programs like financial literacy workshops for youth, adults, and seniors, seminars about raising money smart kids, identity theft prevention, and many more. For more information about San Mateo Credit Union, visit us at www.smcu.org. Tournament champions will win an all-expenses-paid trip to Europe, courtesy of ACIS. All right, we're back. We're going to play the countdown round. I'm going to put three minutes on the clock, and each question is worth 30 points. Buzz in. 
Give me the correct answer, you score the points. If you give me a wrong answer, the other team gets to collaborate and possibly steal those points, okay? Good luck to both teams. Here we go. Cole Cannon, Vichy Soise, Latkes, and Pomme Frite are all made with what member, Rory? Potato. Right. On its way to the Gulf of California, which river flows through Glen Canyon and the... Re Emma? Colorado River. Yes. What character falls in love with the gypsy Esmeralda and rings a cathedral's bells? Re Brandon. The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Correct. Uh, what Jurassic dinosaur with a name meaning roofed lizard had a brain of less than three ounces, a spiked tail, and... Yes, Stegosaurus. Brandon. Stegosaurus. That's correct. Which general ran West Point until 1922, oversaw occupied Japan until 1948, and commanded UN forces in Korea until his dismissal? Emma? MacArthur. Correct. Who wrote a novel describing a voyage to the South Pole, the narrative of Arthur Gordon Pym, the gold bug, and the telltale heart? Emma? Poe. Yes. What general known as Old Rough and Ready served 40 years in the military and was elected president in 1848? Will? Eisenhower. Nope. Uh, only to die after 16 months in office. 1848. Harrison? No, Zachary Taylor. You plow your land, plant, and then harvest your virtual crops, such as pumpkins, which grow in, well, Farmville? Yeah, really. What? <laughs> <laughs> which part of the skeleton includes the temporal, parietal, and occipital bones that protect the brain? Emma? The skull? Yes. His fate explains, I'm sorry, her fate explains the seasons. Who, after eating some pomegranate seeds, had to spend, will? Persephone? Yes. C1 through C7 and T1 through T12 denote the cervical and thoracic types of what bones? Yes, Emma? Vertebrae. Correct. Ferdinand and Miranda fall in love in which Shakespearean play set on an island whose other inhabitants include Ariel, Caliban, and, yes, will? The Tempest? Correct. Chromosomes move towards opposite ends of the nuclear spindle in what third stage of mitosis that precedes telophase? Rory. Anaphase. Right. Which president's attempts to move, I'm sorry, to remove Stanton as Secretary of War in violation of the Tenure of Office Act led to his impeachment in 1868? Emma. Johnson. Right. Male hornets, wasps, bees, and ants are given what name to distinguish them from workers and queens? Emma. Drones. Right. What man served as Secretary of War under Franklin Pierce and as a sec senator from Mississippi before resigning in 1861 to become Confederate president? Je Devin. Jefferson Davis. Right. Which element, whose name is derived from the Greek for lazy one, is the most common noble gas on Earth and has chemical... Brandon. Uh, helium? No, I'm sorry. Chemical symbol AR. Argon. You got it. At 19,340 feet, Uhuru Peak is the highest point on what tallest mountain? Brandon. Mount Fuji. I'm sorry, it's not. Tallest mountain in Africa? Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro. Correct. What pioneer of North African airmail wrote about his life in wind, sand, and stars, but is better known for writing The Little Prince? Um, we're not going to do that one, but we have the end of the game. 180, 910. Gun wins the game. Go to quizkids.tv to meet on teams. Learn more about the questions on today's show and to get tickets to see the show in person. An awesome score of 910 added to their previous score of 540 gives Gun High School 1,450 points. Stewart Hall scored 180, but they will be back in a few weeks to play a second game and add another score. We'll see how they do, and we hope to see you next week on Quiz Kids. Bye-bye. The following underwriters helped to make this program possible. The San Mateo Credit Union. Additional support provided by the Birmingham Scottish Rite of Freemasonry and the Knights Templar.